Hello there, my friends. Yeah, so it's Star Wars Unlimited Shadows of the Galaxy it just came out yesterday. And so we got a box here and we're going to open up some packs. So we already opened up three. And I will spoil it for you. I should make you like watch that video. But I got a Kylo uh, TIE silencer. So I already have one legendary out of this box. Now the average pull, I've been told, is three legendaries per box. But we'll see about that. So is this, uh, what I want to know is, you know, am I going to get some more legendaries? Is this box going to be worth it? Uh, what I paid for it. And so far, the Kylo card is worth $31.30. And then this stolen um, Landspeeder card is worth about 6 bucks because it's a uh, hyperspace. So I'm already at $37, and we've only opened three packs. That's pretty good. So let's see if we can keep on pace here, shall we? So should I be superstitious? The last time I opened Lando first. So this is pack number four. We'll open Lando first and see who we, what we got here. And we got, we did not get a showcase card. We got a Boba Fett leader card, which is common. We got a common base. We're going to end up with a lot of these. Maz Katana's Castle. If you have questions about how to play this game, let me know. Uh, Cargo Juggernaut, that was in the last set as well, so that's nothing special. Daring Raid, a card that I love, but I already have three of these, so... Deal two damage to a unit or base. Any card that will let you do damage from your hand is awesome. Public Enemy, this is a bounty card. Got that already. Sony Veteran, got that. Hunting Nexu, got that. Warzone Lieutenant. Cartel Turncoat. I don't think I have this card. Uh, this is interesting. It's a heroism card. And it's also cunning. Underworld Vehicle Fighter. Bounty, draw a card. So that's interesting. So this comes with a bounty on it already and only costs one and it's a two three that's really neat so i guess the bounty part is the liability but that's a pretty good value for a, a card that cost one um all right so protector of the throne we have a bunch of these already cloud riders we already have a bunch of these all right let's get into the fun stuff so we have an uncommon card here valiant assault ship I don't think I have any of these Valiant Assault ships. So let's find out what this does. This is a Red Heroism card. Saboteur, it has Saboteur, so it ignores shields. And Sentinel, and on attack, the defending player controls more resources than you. If he does, you get plus two for this attack. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll take it. All right, we got a Lurking TIE Phantom. This is a really cool card because this unit can't be captured, damaged, or defeated by enemy card abilities. So that's pretty cool. So this thing will stay out there for a while. And it has Raid 2. So we have two of these now. So we need space units. They're pretty big. Spark of Hope. Now I have three Spark of Hopes. So that'll make the set. So if I get another one, I can sell it or trade it. Choose a unit in your discard pile. If it was defeated this phase, put it into play as a resource. That's a nice picture of Leia, too. So, all right, that's pretty standard stuff. And our rare card is Choose Sides. So choose a friendly non-leader unit and an enemy non-leader unit, and you can switch control those. So if they have, like, a super big powerhouse, like a Crate Dragon or something like that, you can flip these two. You can give them, like, a really low-value... Um, uh, uh, unit of your own and take their big unit. So this is going to be a very valuable card, I think. So that's rare. And then, wow, check this out. We've got our foil card, also a rare card. So we got two rare cards in one pack, and that's Zori Bliss, which is pretty cool. So she's a 547, and uh, you can smuggle her, and it says uh, draw a card on attack. At the start of the recoup phase, discard a card from your hand. So that's a really pretty foil card that we have there. So two rare cards in uh, pack number four. All right, so we're going to go with pack number five now. And I think the last time we drew Boba Fett second. So let's be superstitious and do that again. And see if we can get a showcase. Nope, we don't. We get Boba. Another Boba card, so we have a lot of those. And a Coronet City. 
All right, price on your head. Village protectors. Reckless gunslinger. Rickety quad jumper, weak way power gang. Oh, look, we have a hyperspace moment of glory common card. Moment of glory gives a unit uh, plus four, minus four for this phase. No, plus four, plus four for this phase. Wow, that's a beautiful card. All right, we'll put that in our pile with the other hyperspace commons. Frontier Trader, Smuggler's Aid, this is a great card. We're going to need those. Uh, chain Code Collector. All right, and now we get into the interesting ones. Punishing, the. this is called Punishing One. Dengar's Jump Master. So this is Dengar's ship. Pretty cool looking ship, actually. You may upgrade enemy unit. No, when an upgrade enemy unit is defeated, you may ready this unit. Use this ability only once per round. So that's a pretty cool uncommon card that I don't have, but I've seen it. So that's cool. Lady Proxima. I have one of these already. This is pretty cool. And Coruscant Dissident. Those are our uncommons. And now, whoa! Our wow! So our card that uh, usually is a rare card is actually a legendary card. So we've got two legendaries in this deck already. This is uh, number five. This is Ray. So now I have two Rays. And uh, this is a great card. Five, four, seven, just alone. Plus she's got Force and she's part of the Resistance. While playing this unit, ignore her heroism aspect penalty if you control Kylo Ren. So you could put this in a Kylo deck if you wanted to. And on attack, you may heal two damage from a unit. If it's a non-heroism unit, give a shield token to it. Pretty cool stuff. So two legends already out of five packs. And we got a foil common. So that's kind of cool. So we'll put that over here. So two foil commons. All righty. So here we go. Look. So usually you get three legendaries out of a box, and now we've already got two legendaries out of this one. Pretty happy so far. This is really pretty good pulls. All right. Let's check this out. Maybe we're in the right print order here to get another legendary. Who knows? Maybe we'll even get a showcase. Oh, Katan. What can you do for us, Bo-Katan? Well, we got a young Han Solo card. That is not a showcase card. Spice Mines Kessel. All right, let's go through these. Common, Tree Tender, Night Off Skirmisher, Pike Sentinel. We just got that in uh, uh, foil. Pirate Battle Tank, Clan Challengers, Ruthless Assassin. Surprise Strike, Underworld Thug, those are repeats from the last set, Kintan Intimidator. All right, uncommon cards. Top target, we do have one of these already. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's going to be a useful card. All right, we have Bo-Katan Kreez as a unit. And we have one more, so this is our second one of these. We got two you always want to have three of these cards. That's the maximum allowed, you're allowed in any deck. And she's a 2-3-3, three, 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 but she's a double red aspect. She's really angry. Uh, when defeated, for each player with 15 or more damage to their base, you can draw a card. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to put her over here with the uncommons. And Queel is a hyperspace uncommon. Very cool. I wonder if this is going to be worth any money. Um, he's got to restore one, and you can discard a card from your deck, and if it shares an aspect of your base, return it to your hand. And he only costs two. All right, here's our rare card, the Vambrace Flamethrower. Attached to a non-vehicle unit. Attached unit gains on attack. You may deal three damage. Divide among units as you see fit ground units. And that makes sense, because you're spraying, right, to... Um, um, you know, it's like a flamethrower, so you can spread that damage out. That makes perfect sense. And our foil card is Gamorrean uh, Retainer, so Gamorrean Retainer. So nothing special there, but this is pretty cool that we got a uh, 
foil uh, rare. So now we have two foil rares out of this deck. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. This is a rare card, not a foil rare. Zori was a foil rare. All right. And then this is a common foil. So that goes there. All right, guys. So that was uh, pack number six. So thanks for watching the video. I think I might have to sneeze. Uh, thank you all. Um, 13,770 of you for subscribing to the channel. And I am definitely going to sneeze. I'm going to uh, put these in a sleeve before I sneeze. I've got two. We opened six packs. We got two legendaries. That is huge. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.